stars. Rain quenches the hot sands of the desert as we delve into the sixth chapter of The Fall of the House of the Azure Pimpernel, Chapter 6, Into the Mouth of Madness. Atlantis teaches us lessons. Did you know that if you pass a certain level underwater, you can no longer float to the surface? You have to use all of your strength, all of your oxygen to swim back up. And if you use too much oxygen, you can suffocate. Some days be like that. The crisp autumn air swirled with the scent of roasted turkey and pumpkin pie, a stark contrast to the turmoil brewing within Princess Tillerby's mind. Four months pregnant, her once flat stomach now held the promise of a new life, a potential lifeline to her crumbling position as queen to be. Yet the joy of impending motherhood was tinged with a bitter aftertaste. The American style Thanksgiving feast, a time for family and gratitude, seemed a cruel mockery in the face of her shattered reality. Prince Punyheart was, as usual, absent, his affections lingering with the ever-present ghost of Lily, the next-door neighbor. The festive chatter around the castle doom dinner table felt like a cruel joke, each forced smile a jab at her tattered pride. Guilt gnawed at Tillerby's insides. The encounter with Uncle Thaddeus, orchestrated by Queen Consort Appaloosa, remained a murky memory shouted in the haze of those strange drinks prepared by the wizard white satin. Did Uncle Thaddeus remember? Would Appaloosa use this secret like a weapon, whispering it to King Porkchop, or worse, engaging the enigmatic white satin in some complicated scheme? But the most maddening thought that gnawed at her sanity was the hypocrisy of it all. Here she was, carrying another royal progeny, another pawn in the twisted game of power played in the kingdom of Atlantis, while Peony Hart cavorted with another woman, maybe just the same woman he had always cavorted with since before they got married. He was indulging in the very betrayal she had been forced to endure with Puny Heart's Uncle Thaddeus. <sighs> so ironic, so confusing, but so necessary. The tension finally snapped during the customary post-dinner toast. As Appaloosa lifted her crystal goblet, a saccharine smile playing on her lips, she inquired in a honeyed voice, and where is our dear Prince Punyheart this fine evening, Princess Tillerby? The question, dripping with false concern, was the spark that ignited the tinderbox of Tillerby's emotions. A strangled cry escaped her lips, followed by a torrent of words laced with raw emotion. Where is he? She shrieked, her voice cracking with a desperate mix of anger and despair. He's out there, isn't he? With her, stealing what's rightfully mine. Her rage manifested in a violent display. Glassware shattered against the wall. Remnants of a shattered facade. Tears streamed down Princess Tillerby's face, a mixture of frustration and self-hatred. Amidst the stunned silence, Tillerby fled the room, her sobs echoing through the opulent halls of Castle Doom. Queen Consort Appaloosa, as if on cue, let out a theatrical sigh, dabbing a non-existent tear from beneath her heavily mascarid lashes. Such a fragile creature, she murmured, turning to White Satin, who stood by silently, a ghost in the shadows of the dining table. That commoner has no breeding, no class, a jumped-up scullery maid playing queen to be, if you ask me. White Satin, his silver eyes glinting with an unreadable emotion, simply nodded. He knew the depths of Appaloosa's cruelty, 
the calculated manipulation that had driven Tiller B to the brink and beyond. But for now, he remained silent, a cunning spider, content to watch the tangled web he'd helped create to ensnare its prey. Princess Tillerby's outburst marked a turning point. The facade of the perfect royal couple crumbled, revealing the truth, a loveless marriage built on ambition and deceit. As the days turned into weeks, Princess Tillerby's mental state deteriorated. The once meek and mild-mannered, perfect queen-to-be retreated into herself, a prisoner within her own mind, and the gilded, lonely cage of Castle Doom.